another video on uh, Kruskal Wallace test. In this video, I am going to explain you how to solve a problem under Kruskal Wallace test. A simple problem I have taken to make you understand. So this problem I am going to solve in this video. So now let us explore the problem. Uh, yeah, this is a problem. So here we need to uh, we have a uh, three feeds that is a uh, three different feeds are to be compared to determine that they have same distribution of weight gains on experimental animals such as on pigs. So we have three kinds of uh, feeds that is uh, feed one, feed two and feed three. So here we need to compare these three feeds to know whether they have same weight gains. So in uh, three feeds uh, where we have 12 animals uh, that uh, 12 animals are divided at random into three groups that is feed one, feed two, feed three of four animals each. So in each feed we have four animals that is uh, one, two, three and four. Uh, for three feeds also we have four animals and their uh, results also given here. So now we what we have want to do is we want to test the median weight gains due to three feeds are same. So here they have given weight gains in that to that the median weight gains due to three feeds are same. So using Kruskal Wallace test at 5% level of significance we have to find this. So totally we have 12 samples here and we have three groups that is 3k. So using that at 5% level of significance we have to determine whether the three feeds weight gain are same. So let us explore the steps to uh, follow while we are solving Kruskal Wallace test. So first of all we have to rank all the numbers from smallest to largest first and then total the ranks for each sample so such as uh, table 1 uh, sample or uh, table 2 sample and table 3 table 4 like that and after that apply the Kruskal Wallace uh, test statistics and calculator test statistics after that find a p value in the table table uh, you are using table you can find a t p, p value so finally we have to make a decision about p value so these are the important steps i i know that you have watched my first video the where I have a detailed explanation given on these steps also. Now I will concentrate on the problem. So before proceeding with the steps, uh, let us go for that formulation of hypothesis for the given things. To formulate hypothesis, uh, we, we let us have a look on a problem again. So what is that? What they have asked us to do? Test the median weights gain due to three feeds are same. They, they, they are asking three feeds are same so this is our climb so what is our climb the uh, that uh, median weight gains due to three feeds are same which means uh, let us denote feed one as mu one and feed two as mu two and feed three as mu three so our climb is mu one is equal to mu two is equal to mu three which means the median weight gains due to three feeds are same now let us have a complement of uh, climb. So complement is opposite to, to climb. So uh, since our climb is mu1 equal to mu2 is equal to mu3. So our complement would be mu1 not equal to mu2 not equal to mu3. Which means the median weight gains due to three feeds are not same. So we are since we are dealing with median. So here in uh, climb median weight of all feeds are same in the complement median weight gain of all three feeds are not same here climb contains equality sign i will take climb as null hypothesis complement as alternative hypothesis we have to take a climb we have to take where there is a equality sign uh, that as a null hypothesis so climb contains equality sign so i have taken climb as null hypothesis so our null hypothesis for this situation is mu1 is equal to mu2 is equal to mu3 which means median weight gains due to three feeds are same so our alternative hypothesis would be complement that is uh, alternative hypothesis mu1 not equal to mu2 not equal to mu3 which means median weight gains due to three feeds are not same so this is how we have done uh, formulation of hypothesis to be more familiar with formulation of hypothesis, I have made us elaborated videos on formulation of hypothesis. 
in in my in the play store of my channel sorry playlist of my channel which is available you can go, go back to the play playlist and get more familiar with that so before proceeding further uh, let us have a one more clarification since our problem is uh, more than three uh, uh, more than two groups we can go for calculation of ANOVA for this problem but here the distributions of weight gains uh, due to different feeds are not given so assumption of normality for the uh, one way ANOVA is not fulfilled and the data given in the median so Kruskal Wallis test is best fit for this situation so then uh, let us go for uh, the formula we used for this uh, problem so the, this is a formula this is the formula we have to use when there is no ties between the samples so if there is any ties between the sample we have to go for one more formula that is adjusted factor so adjusted factor c we can uh, calculate by using this formula so after that finally we have to find adjusted Kruskal wallis test on this uh, case i will uh, i will go for solving this case in the in my next video so simply uh, without uh, there is any tie in the selected problem in this video so i will let us solve the problem using this formula so as i told you uh, the step uh, let us uh, attempt this problem uh, step by step first step is to make uh, uh, rank all the numbers all the given numbers we have to rank so here this is a problem so uh, weight gains and this is a feeds we have three feeds so i have taken feed one here and feed two here and feed three here uh, since i have to uh, rank all the feeds i have taken uh, rank one of a feed one and a rank two of feed two and rank three of feed three so let us enter all the data uh, firstly so feed one 104 110 106 and 102 so here 104 110 106 and 102 and let us enter feed to data that is 112 117 115 and 114 so 112 117 115 and 114 and last feed is uh, that uh, 3 feed 3 that is 120 126 121 and 128 so 120 126 121 uh, 128 so firstly i have entered all the data now let us rank so in the in this matrix we have to find which uh, which is the smallest value we have to rank from smallest to largest in that too, if there is any time uh, time means uh, in the feed one the 104 is there in the feed two uh, is also 104 if there is in 104 then there is a tie we have to deal it in a separate manner i said to uh, if i say uh, so shown you that formula so since there is no tie in the given case we will go simply by ranking smallest to largest so firstly let us find the smallest value in the given uh, samples so here uh, in the feed one smallest value is 102 uh, in the feed two uh, there is no 102 in the feed three there is no 102 so 102 is a first rank and the uh, next uh, small uh, largest to this so 102 is uh, 104 and there is no 104 in any other three, uh, three uh, two uh, feeds so this is given rank 2 and next 106 is at the uh, given the third rank and 110 is given fourth rank since there are no ties 102 104 is uh, in the feed 1 only and 110 is also in feed 1 only 106 is also in feed 1 only so i have given rank now let us come to next largest to this 110 so here in the feed 3 120 26 to 121 128 so there is there is a lesser than this there is a value in feed 2 so which means one after 110 we could see this 112 that is a fifth rank after 112 we could see that 114 is a fifth uh, sixth rank after 114 we can see uh, that one, one 115 that is a seventh rank and after 117 we can see 107 sorry 115 we can see 117 that is eighth rank so after that let us move to the feed 3 so feed 3 in the even the feed 3 you can see that uh, after 117 uh, there is a value 120 is lowest uh, highest after 170 so that is given ninth rank 
एंड आफ्टर दैट वन ट्वेंटी वन इज नेक्स्ट हाइएस्ट दैट इज गिवन टेंथ रैंक आफ्टर दैट वन ट्वेंटी सिक्स इज नेक्स्ट हाइएस्ट दैट इज गिवन ट्वेल्थ लेवेंथ रैंक एंड लास्टली वन ट्वेंटी एट इज अ लास्ट लार्जेस्ट वैल्यू इन द गिवन मैट्रिक्स सो दैट इज गिवन वन ट्वेल्थ रैंक सो बाई स्मॉलेस्ट टू लार्जेस्ट वी हैव गिवन रैंक वी हैव असाइनड रैंक हियर आफ्टर द आफ्टर असाइनिंग रैंक लेट इस गो फॉर एट टोटलिंग ऑफ ईच रैंक सो वी हैव थ्री फीड्स एंड देर रेस्पेक्टेड फीड्स रैंक ऑल्सो वी हैव सो टोटल दिस वी कुड हैव आर वन आर वन टोटल दैट इज टू प्लस फोर सिक्स सिक्स प्लस थ्री नाइन नाइन प्लस वन टेन सो आर वन इज टेन सो आर थ्री इन द सेम मैनर फाइव प्लस एट थर्टीन थर्टीन प्लस सेवन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी प्लस सिक्स ट्वेंटी सिक्स आर टू इज ट्वेंटी सिक्स एंड लास्टली आर थ्री आर थ्री इज नाइन प्लस लेवन ट्वेंटी प्लस टेन थर्टी थर्टी प्लस ट्वेल्व फोर्टी टू सो दिस इज अ सेकेंड सेकेंड स्टेप वॉट इज दैट टोटल द रैंक्स ऑफ फॉर ईच ऑफ द सैम्पल्स दैट इज आर आई वी हैव थ्री आर दैट इज आर वन आर टू आर थ्री so we have made that uh, rank also respected uh, sorry respected totals of each rank also now let us go for testing a statistics kruskal wallis test let us apply kruskal wallis test uh, before that we have to ensure there is no tie in this case so i will consider the formula since there is no tie i will consider this formula so for that i uh, have pasted here the last result uh, step 2 result to replace the formula here so c is 12 is common and n number of sample in this case is 12 uh, in the feed 1 we have four sample in the feed 2 we have four sample even in the feed 3 we have four sample so k is 3 in the in this example k is 3 and in each k we have four sample so 3 into 4 12 so n is 12 and this n is also 12 Plus one is common and R I so we have R one, R two and R three so that have to show here in the that is a ten square uh, in the denominator N I means a yeah, number of sample in R one that is four ten square by four and here twenty six square by four and here twenty forty two square by two so that is what I have replaced in in this uh, formula. so here six is common and as i told you number of sample is 12 so i have considered a 12 here and r1 total i have considered here 10 that is the taken in a 10 square 10 square by 4 we have four sample in feed 1 so 4 26 square by 4 that is a 26 by 4 42 square by 4 and here minus 3 minus 3 in the bracket n n i say told you 12 plus 1 so i just have replaced all the values here so after that i have just simplified that to next step that is a uh, 12 plus 1 uh, will be simplified in next uh, step so 10 into 10 100 uh, 26 into 26 676 42 into 42 1764 so this is 12 plus 1 13 so let us uh, simplify this further so when i simplified that in for the next step so this this portion would be 12 into 13 that is a uh, 12 plus 1 is a uh, 13 12 into 13 is 156 then 12 by 156 is 0.0769 and this portion is 100 by 4 which is 25 and 676 by 4 1764 by 4 All together added, all together is six hundred thirty-five, and this is three thirteen uh, into three times. That is thirty-nine. So that is how uh, I have simplified this. So in the next step, we can see that zero point zero seven six nine into six hundred thirty-five will be forty-eight point eight five, and I will subtract this thirty-nine. So finally, I got h value. That is h is equal to nine point eight five. so this is a tested value of a kruskal wallis test i using the formula we have tested this so now after testing testing uh, kruskal wallis 
now let us go for uh, finding a p value using a table so firstly uh, uh, look at this side uh, find the p value uh, uh, that is a critical tabulated value corresponding to k is equal to 3 as i told you we have three groups here that is feed 1 feed 2 and feed 3 we have three groups that is why k is equal to 3 and n1 is 4 that is in the first uh, feed we have four uh, number of sample and in the n2 is also four and in the n3 is also four so four n is uh, n1 is four n2 is equal to four n3 is equal to four and we have to obtain p value at five percent level of significance let us uh, see how can we obtain this so this side on the right side you can see this is a critical values of crystal wallace test and in the here, here alpha alpha is 10% uh, alpha which is 5% alpha and which is uh, that is 2.5% uh, alpha and which is 1% alpha and here you can see n1 degree of freedom for n1 n2 n3 we can see our case is n1 is 4 n2 is 4 and n3 is 4 let us look at that so here we have n1 4 n2 4 and n3 4 and our degree of freedom is 5% so degree of freedom is this 5% in this uh, we have to see 5% degree of freedom that is 5.692 so here it is uh, degree of freedom p value is 5.692 for k is equal to 3 n1 is equal to 4 n2 is equal to 4 and n3 is equal to 4 so this is how we obtained that uh, critical value using table that is a crystal wallis table so i hope how to read this you can download this table uh, from the google so now let us move to the finally to derive at a decision so step 5 is uh, is to make a decision as i explained you uh, while i am explaining introductory video on the crystal wallis test how to make a decision so our tested value must be lesser than the tabulated value so that is the key to make a decision uh, then we can go for uh, test you know what uh, accepting null hypothesis uh, if our tested value is uh, greater than the tabulated value then we have to reject the null hypothesis so you can see here tabulated value is 5.692 and let us see what is the tested value tested value is 9.85 so you can uh, you, you can imagine where the, since the tested value is uh, greater, uh, greater than uh, tabulated value we have to go for rejecting a null hypothesis so that is our final conclusion since calculated uh, value of test statistics this 9.85 is greater than the critical value that is a uh, obtained uh, value from the table uh, so which is greater uh, that is a tested value is uh, greater than critical value uh, so we reject null hypothesis and uh, we reject the climb uh, our climb the our climb at five percent level of significance what is our climb three feeds weight gain of three feeds are same is our climb so we reject that climb thus we conclude that samples provide us sufficient evidence against the climb so median weight gains due to feeds are not same so null hypothesis is rejected in this case so this is how we solve the problem using crystal wall test if you have any doubts you can comment in the comment box so this is a problem you can solve this problem which is a similar problem or how i have solved in this in the in this video the same type of similar problem you can solve this so thank you so much for watching this video this is my reference material for preparing this video thank you so much